If you've watched the other videos on this new Xiaomi radio, you'll see that we've managed to open up this radio to allow it to be programmed onto the FRS and the PMR446 bands. I also made a small stand for this unit to clip into, so when it's stood upright and charging, I don't knock it over. As it's quite a slim lightweight radio with a narrow footprint, this uh, little bracket adapter helps me uh, keep the radio from toppling over. The first thing that my partner did was knock it over when I was having my tea, so I knocked this little adapter up and to stop it from toppling. So if anyone wants one of these, I'll put a little link in the description to where you can download the files for this. And at the same time, on, uh, I also made uh, for my shelf of radios a little fence uh, gate type array there to stop those falling forwards as well, because you can get a bit of a domino effect otherwise with those radios. So if you pull out a radio at the back, it will knock all of the ones forward uh, in front of it forward. And uh, yeah, you've got radios everywhere there. So. We've got this. Uh, I've got these clipped onto the edge of the shelf there to stop the radios from uh, from falling forwards. Um, again, if you entered the, the uh, if you left a comment on the last video about the um, the radio clip, I've printed off the five of those. So I'll be going through those to uh, find out who they uh, need to go to and sending them off to you. On the radio front, I've put in some wide banded frequencies into the radio, and I found that um, the lowest I could get it was about 400 meg and as high as I could get it to transmit was about 500. Um, so it will accept frequencies down in the VHF range, but you won't be actually able to transmit on those. It will just jump to, if you select them, it will just jump to the nearest one it can transmit on. Anyway, let's go to site. Right, we're here at uh, location test A. I've been playing around with the, uh, the app on this phone, opening it up a little bit. Um, a few things I've found, um, FRS and PMR446 OK. About the lowest I could go was about 400 meg on transmit and as high was about 500 but I believe that's just the app restricting it. Uh, there, are, there is firmware you can download with that hacked app which will give you um, uh, more frequencies should you so desire. Or they really I only wanted this to be able to uh, operate on the, uh, the PMR channels but um, it's just great that we can now do that. So what I thought we'd do is come out here and have a little test. We're going to test this against the KDC1 and the GT3 at the two locations, hopefully weather permitting, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Testing the new Xiaomi location A on PMR channel 1, 12345, 54321, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Unfortunately, as you can see on the SDR here, there was lots of local interference and has been for a while local to me at, at my property here on the PMR bands. Uh, I'd also got the uh, SDR set into wideband mode as well. So when I was remotely trying to make this recording, it didn't uh, work properly. So I've gone just with the FRS um, SDR recordings, which to be honest is a fairly good representation of what you're going to see on PMR anyway. It definitely works fine on PMR because I've already tested it on the PMR frequencies. Um, but I will actually run a quick test tomorrow when we go back out to site to do the repeated test. Anyway, back to me in the car. Well, hopefully that's been a successful test. Um, it seemed to appear there's a bit of lag on the SDR for some reason um, uh, over the GSM. I'll get a better signal at the next location. So let's get to location B, run through all these tests again uh, and see how well this new Xiaomi radio performs on FRS and PMR. Right here we are at location B. The sun is sort of coming out, but at least it stopped raining. Okay, I'm not sure what kind of signal we're going to get from here. Uh, I'm going to do a few quick preliminary, preliminary tests and then we'll see how, if we can get back into base. Okay. Well, we've got the new Xiaomi on FRS now. Testing the new Xiaomi on FRS on the FRS channel 1. 12345, 54321 at location B, approximately 7 miles. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Testing. Okay. Testing the new Xiaomi on FRS on the FRS channel 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 at location B, approximately 7 miles. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Testing. Okay, the KDC1. Testing, testing the KDC1 at location B, approximately 7 miles on FRS channel 1, channel 1. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Testing, testing the KDC-1 at location B, approximately 7 miles on FRS, channel 1, channel 1. 
the quick brown fox that jumped over the lazy dog. The sun's come out. Testing the GT3, the GT3 at location B, seven miles on FRS channel one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Testing the GT3, the GT3 at location B, seven miles on FRS channel one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Checking access again into GB3 EH. It's about five or six miles away. G7 LNK checking access into GB3 EH and testing. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. So the wind's getting up a bit here. All right, it's getting a bit dodgy, the weather now. I'm glad I've got that test all sorted out, but, um, yeah, impressive, I think. Um, you know, um, the audio quality of this, I was really impressed with when I did my first test. And the power as well. It advertises as a uh, three watt radio. And if you watch that test again with the GT3, um, there wasn't much in it in terms of uh, the power. Obviously the GT3 must have a better antenna, but um, yeah, it was quite impressive. It was just that it couldn't transmit on PMR and FRS, which it can now do. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how it fares. Now the signal back home on PMR isn't great, unfortunately. There's some local interference uh, all across the band there. Uh, but on FRS it was clear. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing some repeater testing with this. Uh, we're gonna go out and uh, I've got all loads of repeaters programmed into it. Um, we're gonna go up to a hill near to where I live, which is slightly elevated, 170 meters, I think it is. And we're gonna try and hit some repeaters with this and have a little play around for five minutes. Right, okay, if you have been, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you have uh, left a comment about the clips, I'll go through those, because as I said, they've finished printing now, and um, we'll get those sent off in the post to those people that uh, want them. Right, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Yeah.